My name is Cesar E. Medrano, and I'm here to welcome you to Isis Education's Guitar 101. For now, before we learn about how to play the acoustic guitar, we're going to learn a few things about certain parts of the guitar, the string order in standard tuning, and how to memorize that string order, and we're going to learn a few tricks, especially on how to do our first ever chord. So join me on this journey as I bring you in to Isis Education's Guitar 101. Welcome back. Well, let's go ahead and grab our tool of choice, which is the acoustic guitar. Now, this guitar is a steel string acoustic guitar, which is very different from an electric guitar or a nylon string classical guitar. Steel string acoustic guitars are very, very common guitars that you see around. And these guitars are meant for more loud, bright kind of sounds. Very loud, that party campfire kind of sound. That's the steel string acoustic, but it doesn't mean that you can't use it for some good old finger picking. So let's get started. This has a very distinct peanut shape, and then it has a long neck. At the very, very top, we call it the headstock. The headstock has tuners. These tuners is what I use to tune my guitar. So for example, if I use this tuner, if I wanted to tune my A string, getting it to the green, and I'm in tune. So that's just one tool I could use to tune my guitar into standard tuning if I don't know how to tune by ear. As we come down the headstock, we're going to also come up here from the neck. And the neck contains the fretboard. The fretboard is the series of thin metal strips that you see separating the boxes. These thin metal strips are called frets. So the frets make up the fretboard. At the very top, fret one. Next up, fret two. Three, four, five, and so on. Here at the double dots, if you can see quite clearly, this signifies that we're at the twelfth fret. And then right after that, the notes that assemble on the fretboard start up again. But that's for another lesson. Let's continue forward. At the very body of the guitar, already an amplified sound is coming out of the sound hole. Here we have our bridge and our saddle, which contains the nuts that hold our strings together. Percussion. You can use your guitar already to make sounds, even without knowing any chords or notes. In order to go about starting the memorization of the notes, and the string order of your guitar in standard tuning, there's a really cool trick that you can use. First, you have to know what your strings are and what notes they play. So let's take a better and closer look. As you can see here, at the very tip top, we have the E string. Here at the second string is the A string. Here at the third string is the D string. Here at the fourth string is the G string. Here at the fifth string is the B string, and the sixth string is your E string. But this is a bright E as compared to the top bassy E string. So how do we go about memorizing that order? E, A, D, G, B, E. Eddie ate dynamite, good by Eddie. That's the way to memorize standard tuning when you're putting your strings in order and knowing how to tune it. Now, let's go ahead and learn how to do our first ever chord. 
the easiest way that I could teach you your first chord would be the A chord. Get your right index finger or your fretting hand, the hand that goes on the fretboard. Get your index finger and with your thumb placed on the back of the guitar, you're going to apply pressure by holding down on your finger. With your finger, you're going to cover the bottom four strings of the second fret. Fret one, fret two, fret three. So this would be fret two. Go ahead and strum. And there's an A chord. Just learning two chords, you already have all the tools available to make a great song. And we strum. And that's a down strum. If you wanted to strum up, be a different sound, but still be the A chord. You could strum up and down. You could use a pick or you could use your fingers for finger picking. It's less about strumming your arm and more about strumming with your wrist. This is where the power truly comes from in your music making when it comes to playing the acoustic guitar. Let's go ahead and add another chord. I'll do a G chord. G to A. G to A, A to G. These are two chords that go along with each other all the time in songs. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 down. So that's just one example of a strum pattern. If you wanted to add some percussion, you can even start palm muting, in which you use your palm to hit the strings. That's more of an advanced technique. I'll have to leave you with that. You can do anything, and if you truly believe it, and put enough hard work into it, you can achieve anything in terms of guitar playing and any aspect of life. For myself in particular, I had no musical history. I had no history of using an instrument playing guitar. About five years ago, I decided to pick up the guitar, now I'm getting paid to play shows, and that's something that I would have never imagined until I decided to finally pick it up. So I encourage you to pick up that guitar and go ahead and start learning that first song. You will surprise yourself. My name is Cesar, and this is Isis Education. It was great giving you a first lesson on the guitar.